Okay, we're getting ready to fold the wing now. We've got the folding wing uh, installed and we're gonna go ahead and fold it back. Um, first thing you do, this is gonna be just like we're taking our wings off. Uh, there's three cotter pins on your aileron cables, two on the, the two going up and down, and one in the, the middle. You wanna to wanna to take those cotter pins out of there and disconnect them. Also, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your flap push rod from the flaps. And then in this case, we have uh, landing lights, or if you have strobe lights, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect any lights that go to it. Um, as well as if you have wing tanks, you're going to want to disconnect your fuel lines. Um, anything that's got to keep the wing attached to the fuselage, you got to get rid of it, okay? First thing, uh, I, I like to use somebody's help, and I'll have Hunter, my helper, out on the tip of my wing, and I'll remove my strut bolt first, and then I'll go ahead and remove my trailing edge bolt on the wing, and then my leading edge bolt. And that'll free the wing up to be removed from the airplane, or in this case, folded back. So on the other side, I've already got my, wing, my bolts pulled, and we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Go ahead. Okay, we're gonna start with our, again, our strut bolt first. Having my helper hold my wing tip up. Okay, got that. Same thing, trailing edge next. And I like to keep a foot on the strut like this just to keep it from scratching itself. Uh, you may need a pair of vice grips to remove the bolts. Edge. And since we have our folding wing on here, this wing isn't going to just fall right off the airplane. So it makes it nice. Okay, now the wing is free. You can go ahead and take a step backwards. Now I'm going to easily, now we have to be careful. Go ahead and stop there. You have to be careful that you fold it enough back to where your strut's not going to come up and, and tear into the fuselage. So you can go about another foot or so backwards. Okay, now he can go ahead and start pivoting it so the trailing edge goes up. Okay, now you can go ahead and start walking backwards. I'm doing nothing, I'm just, just helping support the, you know, I'm, I'm doing nothing other than watching this strut here. Make sure that this strut doesn't affect the airplane at all. That's prop. Okay? That's prop. And you see here that uh, because we have a three-bladed propeller, he can only fold the airplane back, fold the wing back so far. Go ahead and set it down on the inside of your struts. There you go. Just like that. And you can see that I've got plenty of clearance for my propeller. Uh, I will go ahead and be putting a piece of foam on there, but you can see with this size propeller that's on here now, it's not gonna affect, it's not gonna punch it. And that's it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate putting the wing back together. So I'm gonna have my helper come back over here, grab the tip, and we'll go ahead and fold it back up. That's it. Now I would just go ahead and put my bolts back in place, uh, attach my aileron cables, attach my rudder cable, put the string back on between my wings here my, and my gap cover, and we're ready to go flying again. All right, Hunter, pull it back out and just, now just rotate it. You gotta come out a little bit more. Yeah, either way. I, I'm just trying to more. show the mechanism. You know what's involved. In Nothing to it. Just pivots up and down, riveted in there. And that's your ex one piece of tubing into another for the extension. And that's it. All right, come on back in, Will. Let's go ahead and fold it up. We'll leave it folded. Take a step backwards a little bit, okay? Flat. 